What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the latest episode of SpongeBob SquarePants for Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Last episode, we, um, we did a few levels, um, got our first power, I think it was, um, or first special weapon, I don't know. And, um, uh, looks like we're about coming up to our first boss. So, uh, let's get right to it. And I, I can't remember if the last episode was, uh, long or short. I think it was a little longer than I intended. The hooks! The hooks! Beware the hooks, SpongeBob! Stay away from them! I like that episode. That was a fun episode. Oh. Okay. Then again, a lot of episodes of SpongeBob are enjoyable. Hey, SpongeBob, watch this. <laughs> of course he would do that. Of course he would. The hooks move when you touch them. Isn't that fun, SpongeBob? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun, alright. As long as you want to jump off in time. Now, uh, last episode I tried to get all the, uh, the balloons in the last level, but I don't think I managed to accomplish that. Which, I I've said this before, but I'm not gonna obsess over getting every single one. If I, if I find one, great. If not, well, there are worse things in life. I mean, I, I, I'm a bit of a completionist in the sense of I will try and get every achievement in the game. But at the same time, you know, in these kind of games, there is no real achievement. Well, there's a sense of achievement, but you know what I mean. So, you know, I'm not gonna lose sleep over not, uh, not getting them. Because honestly, it seems like all that really accomplishes is getting like some, like a bonus level or something. I, I don't know, I don't think it's, <clears throat> I don't think it's an integral to completing the game, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Okay. I, I, I thought there was a hidden path there or something. Okay. All right. So I'm. No, oh, what is this? Okay. I don't know what that was, but I'm glad I didn't touch it. It looked like it hurt me. Either that or do, um, foul things to me. I mean, it did have tentacles, and we all know how tentacles behave. We all know. No one talks about it, but we know. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop talking about it. about to say, did we go left or up or down? But, uh, choice has been made. I gotta wonder why they give you these hidey holes if, um, you have a bubble that can basically eliminate the need for them. Ah, 
that's probably why. Okay then. See, that's what I figured it was gonna be. I figured, like, it'd have to be another bubble type that we'd get. Okay, I was nowhere near that hole, but eh, the game says I was, so I was. Alrighty, so we haven't found our first key yet. Okay, um... Huh. Oh, can't get past one. Hmm. Yeah, can't get past them. Ah, oh, dang it. I gotta wonder if I was meant to actually just use, like, the strong bubble and kill them before I got the bounce. I don't know. That could be it. Oh, come on, SpongeBob. Okay, so I'm thinking... Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm thinking for this episode, I'm gonna get through this level and maybe the final level, uh, the final section of this level. Chapter, or however it's called, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to make these episodes, uh, too long. Maybe I was supposed to go up. I don't know. I don't know. This game is confusing me. I have the confusion. There we are. But anyway, um, nothing to talk about. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, before. Jump. Okay, Spongebob. But, um, I'm currently in the process of getting a gaming laptop. Yeah. Because, uh... The laptop I'm currently using is one I've... Well, I've had for a long time. I, I wish I could tell you just how long, but I don't remember. Long enough, basically. That it's... Okay. So apparently that happened. Yeah, it's actually been long enough that, um, my, like, my computer is not bad, per se. It works occasionally. It does, you know, frustrate me when it decides to not work or something, something crazy happens. But, you know, it, it works. But my main problem with it is, um, it, it, it's not good for what I, I need it to be, essentially, because I, like, my computer is fine for using the internet and 
Oh, that. You know, I, I have no problem with that. But as, um... Wait. Um... Uh, you know, I completely forgot about this, uh, bubble net. I completely forgot about it. And I was right, that did help me. Right. Completely forgot about that. Anyway. But the thing is, I want to start, um, playing more on my PC. And unfortunately, my PC is not equipped to handle, um, high-end games, basically. Come on. Um, a, a prime example of this, of that, would be a couple of years ago, I got Dark Souls free for, well, PC on Steam. I, I didn't get wait right when the game came out because at the time, I didn't have any money. Which, you know, that's kind of a necessity to buying things. Anyway. So, I, I had to wait a few months. I think maybe a year or two, I don't know. To get it on a Steam sale. And, like, me and my brother... I uh, went to, um... A, a, a store, Shopco, if any of you have ever heard of that. To get... Oh no, we didn't go to Shopco, we went to a uh, family dollar. And this one's right around, like, summer, so it was, uh, it was fairly warm. And, well, we went there because I needed to get more Steam money, basically. Anyway, so we get the, um, we get, we get the card, and when I get home, I buy Dark Souls 3, install it, it takes a while, because again, you know, my computer isn't exactly the best for it. Anyway, we get there, well, I, I just said that. I downloaded, everything seems fine. So I boot up the game. Only to find that the game seems to take a bit longer than I was expecting. So, you know, I think it took like maybe uh, 10 minutes of a black screen before I could even get to the um, start menu. Which, okay, that'd be annoying, but, you know. Tolerable. And then I decided to boot up the game. Oh, that was the first key. Perfect. For the first time. And immediately I come across a problem. The problem being, right as my character spawns out of the uh, coffin, I get booted back to the start menu. And why? Because apparently the frame rate was so low, I could not play online. <laughs> yeah, that's how... I don't want to say bad, but just basically... How bad it was. I, you know... So, yeah, that's how bad it was, and I'm like, okay, so I can't play online, that sucks, but, you know, that's okay. I can handle that. Oh, there's a second key. That was a complete accident. <laughs> anyway. So I'm like, okay, I'll just play offline. That won't, that doesn't bother me. But mainly, mainly because, well, 
I've never played the game before, so I'm like, okay, well, play offline, get used to it, and all that. And then, I, well, playing offline Doctor 3 was something. Because, <laughs> well, just playing offline wasn't the problem. Remember I said the low frame rate? Well, it came back. I don't mean the frame rate went up, I mean a bad, bad frame rate. I think the um, highest frame rate I got was about maybe 10 FPS. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Anyway. So you can obviously imagine just how off it was. Well, just how terrible it was, basically. And, um, yeah. play Doctor 3 with low frame rate and it was just uh, it was just terrible. There's no little way to describe it other than that. It was so leggy. So leggy it was not funny. And I know some people can say like well leg is never funny but <laughs> um if you guys ever have heard of um, a YouTuber called Fraud a lot of his Doctor 3 videos have insane amounts of lag in them. Not 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 from him, from his opponents. And that's kinda funny. Oh I will probably link his uh, channel. I'm not subscribed to him because um as funny as his videos are you know it, it, I'm just not comfortable with it. Completely. Maybe I will be in the future, but not at the moment. Anyway, so yeah, lag can be pretty funny. And I've had similar funny lag moments on, of, of my own. So. I guess we gotta go up then. What's up here? I'll never find out. <laughs> Just kidding, I will. I will. But yeah, so... It, it's my hope that with this, um... Yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not gonna do that. Jellyfish audio. I, I don't need to do it. Okay, oh, there it is. Alright, I think I have all three. Alright. Ooh, a sword. You'll get that in a minute. Ow. What's over here, I wonder? Hmm. Death, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> ah. 
Uh, I, I kind of want to see what, what's over here. I only got like one life left, but you know what? You only get one life to live, so live it. Alright, there's gotta be something good over here. Another life, maybe? Some health? Maybe? Anything? No? Am I just going in circles? It feels like I'm going in circles. And I hate that. Alright. Yeah, I'm going in circles. Nope. Maybe not. At least I have some more health. Yeah, I'm going in circles. I remember this. I remember. I remember. And hopefully I don't waste all my newfound health. Do this entire level. I really hope I don't have to do it. Uh, those scouts are kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm going in circles. Of course I am. Well, I'm gonna try and get back to the end and hopefully not have to redo this. Because that's annoying. And no one wants to see that. Oh, at least I think you guys don't. Because I don't want to make this episode longer than it needs to be. Probably is already past a half hour at this point. And if it is, I apologize. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> come on, stupid jellyfish. That's some help. Yeah. All right. Now can I get back to that chest before uh, dying? Hoping. 
But yeah, like I said, that's gonna be my, um, my intent is to get a new laptop so I can, um, play these games. Like, not just Dark Souls 3, I have other, other games in mind. so far. Alright. Doing good. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking after this episode I'm gonna have to do some, uh, some dancing so I can you know, not, um, die. Because I've seen, uh, if I'm wondering if I'm correctly, that's a good way to get some life, or some lives, is basically do that jellyfish jam. At the beginning of the game. So, we'll see. See if that's actually doable. Should be the end, hopefully. Okay, I never did check what's over here, did I? Ah. Yeah, I'm not gonna, if there's a door or something to go through, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going through it. I'm not going that way. I learned my lesson. I'll be missing out on those, uh, seven doubloons, but you know what? That's okay. Ancient Sword of Enchantment. Huh. It is a very enchanted sword. Alright, um... I'll attempt this... I'll attempt this boss. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Wow, SpongeBob, look at that jellyfish. If you could tame that thing, you'd be the greatest jellyfish hunter of all time. Stand aside, Patrick. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I think. Kinda looks like a ghost, doesn't it? Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to wait for it to get close and then jump on it? Yeah? Because it's just hovering up there. Yep. 
Well, guess I'm just supposed to blow bubbles at it. Is that it? Now that's jellyfish and Wow, SpongeBob, you're the greatest jellyfish hunter ever. Jellyfish hunter ever that I ever lived. Excuse me. SpongeBob, you're the greatest jellyfish hunter that ever lived. Currently. Can I have your autograph? Okay. Okay, so they are called chapters, okay. Okay, well that boss fight went pretty well. I, I, I gotta say, it went pretty well. Alright, you guys, um, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm sorry if it turned out to be a little bit long. I apologize. But next episode, we'll head to Out and About or Walking the Plankton. Um, it depends on what you guys want to see. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, which one would you like to see? Because honestly, I don't remember anything about the rest of the game. Uh, maybe a few snippets, but that's about it. <laughs> But anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If, um, if you enjoyed anything in this episode. And um, don't forget to subscribe to join my alliance. Because we are growing, my friends. And soon we'll be ready. For what? I don't know. I, I, I can't predict the future. Get off my back. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Um, again, don't forget to leave your comments on which chapter you want to see me tackle next, and I'll see you uh, next time. Later.